Hey everyone, welcome to the kinda hastily resurrected Sketchy Sundays. You do remember Sketchy Sundays, right? And correction, this is not Sketchy Sundays, this is now Sketchy Saturdays. Yeah, out of the blue, this series is back because I felt like bringing it back. Wow, well, there's a great reason for you, right? It's just absolutely perfect. Yeah, the lighting is terrible. Listen, this is still like kind of my poor man setup. I ordered finally a proper webcam mount and a proper light. It should be arriving uh, whenever uh, Amazon decides to ship it. I think like next week or the week after. Whatever. Welcome to Sketchy Saturdays, which is like kind of my rambling weekly series. Uh, it used to be where I just sat down on uh, Sundays and talked about the channel, video games, whatever came to my mind. I decided to just move this to Saturdays, so what's probably going to be happening is, you know, I usually stream on Saturdays, and before the Saturday streams, sketchy Saturdays are going to happen, kind of like a nice lead up into the stream. Again, this is just going to be like a whatever type series. Sometimes these videos are going to be longer when I have a lot of topics. Sometimes it, they're going to be shorter. Um, I might change the format, not to have this like kind of live setup, but to have a gameplay, whatever I decide. You know, it's kind of a work in progress, although I think sketchy Sundays were good. It's just, um, well, you know, Sundays... Uh, if you don't know, in the great world of kind of social media optimization and all that, Sundays are the absolute worst day to upload anything because engagement is always incredibly low on on Sundays. That's like one of the big tricks of YouTube that Sundays are really not the best for streaming and all that. Anyways, let's get into today's topics and we have to get into the first thing which is the stream for today, as in there is going to be no stream today. Uh, the game was going to be Ashen, but I think it's safe to say that I'm putting Ashen slash cancelling Ashen, putting Ashen on hold slash cancelling it for now. Here's the reason, it might come out of the blue, because I was kind of gushing over the game uh, these past couple of streams, but last stream in particular which was on wednesday something just kind of kind of started working in my tiny little mind while i was playing and i couldn't exactly put my finger on it because i still like the setting i still like yeah sorry sometimes i gesticulate here and i forget i have to i have a camera to speak to um i like the setting i even like the art style um the atmosphere kind of of the whole game I think is very well done very very well done but something kept kind of like bugging at me again it started especially last stream so what I did is I off screen I just went and I made a new character and just kind of started playing and second playthrough kind of really cemented that this game is kind of wonky on the most crucial department which is the gameplay department. Kind of, it's it's kind of weird to explain. And after I looked on it online, I think there are the people there are people who kind of agree with me. Quite a few people. First things first. All of the quest lines are fetch quests. Literally, all of the major areas of the game consists of pick this up, bring it back to base camp, pick this up, bring it back to base camp, kill this guy, bring it back to base camp. Like, that's all you do. You, 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 it's fetch quests, you know, and fetch quests tend to be kind of the lowest common denominator of gameplay quest lines. So that's one of the things. But other than that, the main issue is that combat is incredibly limited. Like, you have a heavy weapon and you have a light weapon. All of them are axes or like kind of blunt weapons. You have your throwing spears, which is like a different thing, but there are no swords. There are no, I don't know, katanas, spears, whatever. You have an axe or a club and a bigger axe and a club slash hammer. So combat is very limited in that respect. When you factor in that there's absolutely no magic system 
there are no kind of buffs there is no like there's no other extra gameplay mechanic again like sorceries miracles pyromancies whatever which means pretty much it's all it's all melee it's all melee and and honestly the combat is repetitive like there's no other way to put it third thing and i think that's one of probably the biggest issue is that there's because there is no leveling and it's a bold choice to have no leveling uh, and have that kind of well what game had skyrim has this kind of upgrade system right where if you like do certain things that's how you level your stats instead of just putting things into it but that means that souls are essentially a hundred percent well not hundred percent but 99 percent useless i mean you max out your estus you max out the strength of your estus estus you know and then it's all weapons and 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 you know there's like it's i'm not even worried about losing fifty thousand souls because who gives a shit you know not even mentioning that the combat because the combat is tuned to you having an ally when you don't have an ally the game is incredibly difficult and i truly mean incredibly difficult sorry i'm just fucking around with the case of my camera if you hear some weird clicking so all of these things added up to the thing that again something just clicked and i'm not i'm not enjoying ashen i'm not enjoying it. it's a it's this the kind of concept is good i kind of feel like how i felt with neo you know in that i i get that this is a good game i can see that this is a good game but it's just it it ain't it ain't a chief you know as they say it it ain't a chief and that's one of the things so um people weren't giving much of a fuck about ashen anyways i mean i was getting like uh seven or eight viewers which is kind of pathetic when you think about it but uh, people weren't much interested in it anyways but other than that i'm no longer interested in it uh so i think we're gonna move on to bigger and better things and i'm going to be playing something else which leads into my next topic which is the next streamed game i was thinking of a couple of things uh one of the things is sekiro i've talked about playing sekiro for quite a while now and you know i like the game i've only completed it twice so this would be my third playthrough the other thing is like the main concern here is that the last time I, sp I played sekiro on the channel again people didn't really care about it i was getting extremely low viewership extremely extremely low um which kind of signals to me that most people do not want to see a sekiro playthrough but i don't know i don't know honestly um because i'm down to play sekiro but again you know i kind of have to balance uh playing something that i enjoy but also playing something that people enjoy watching i mean after all at the end of the day i'm a youtube channel i'm here so that people watch my videos i mean we're under no illusions here um so i gotta sometimes put some focus into something that people actually want to watch and i'm not sure if sekiro is it but perfect kind of vessel here sketchy saturdays to let me know if you are interested in uh, a sekiro playthrough or would like to see compared to the other option because the other option i was thinking of is dark souls 3 recently i played through dark souls 1 2 1 and 2 and bloodborne on stream so really 3 is the one that i've kind of played um i haven't played for a long time and i was thinking maybe i can build make some like miracle build use a hammer become like a paladin or an inquisitor because i'm kind of obsessed with dawn of war slash warhammer right now uh so maybe something like that so like a faith miracle type build which i've never really done that's the other option uh so i think it's gonna be like down to you guys um to let me know which one you're more interested in whether you want to see sekiro more or whether you want to see dark souls 3 more because i'm going to be honest with you recently uh gameplay wise or game wise there's been of a there's been a bit of a dry spell here and that's going to be kind of my third topic here ps5's 
here are out of the question. Like, there's absolutely zero way, aside from buying from a scalper at insane prices, there's zero chance to get a PlayStation 5 here currently. So, unfortunately, as much as I would like to play Demon's Souls Remastered, and I would very, very much like to play it, uh, it's it's just currently out of out of the realm of possibilities. Um, it's impossible. Like people who pre-ordered PS5s in like September are getting their orders fulfilled now. So I don't know. I don't know when it's gonna be when I can like buy one. You know, probably when the PS6 is getting its release date announced or some shit like that. Uh, because it's it's been terrible. I mean, it's been terrible. The fact that there's such a huge demand for this console because, to be fair, it is fairly priced. Um, a lot of people want it. It's a popular system, but still, the fact that demand is so low is still kind of insane. So, unfortunately, Demon's Souls Remastered is out of the question. And other than that, there's been, like, an absolute dry spell, you know, in games. It's There's nothing currently going on. Um, kind of new games that I looking that I'm like looking to pick up. This is specifically what I'm talking about here. Um, I mean, fighting games. I haven't been playing. I noticed really that with COVID and fighting games having all their events canceled, I'm playing a lot less of them too. Somehow, for me, fighting games, playing fighting games is like very much tied into also watching them, like offline events and everything. And the fact that they're not happening everything is online is kind of just killed things for me even though street fighter 5 got a huge update and yeah like souls games wise nothing nothing really the one thing i'm looking forward to the next big game and that's something i'm definitely going to be playing on the channel is going to be april when uh the near remastered is going to be releasing near replicant i think it's called uh that's one i'm like really looking forward to Okay, what the fuck is up with this camera angle? Come on. Bruh. Very professional. There we go. Hey, much better. Yeah, you can tell this is a professional YouTube show here. Um, yeah, Near Replicant is going to be like the next big thing for me. I loved Near Automata. People loved the Near Automata playthrough. And the first game is apparently even crazier. So I'm like really looking forward to that. So that's going to be kind of the next big thing. Until then, I think I'm just going to be soulsing, you know, uh, really. And making these types of videos. I have a couple of playthroughs, kind of offline playthroughs. Because I'm, I might just play Sekiro, then offline once I finish Of Ash and Dust. Or the other way around, you know, with Dark Souls 3. It just depends on which one I'm going to be streaming and which one is going to be offline. And the final big thing, final topic, is that I want to make more kind of other video types. I always say this, but I never end up doing them. But really this time, I really kind of want to branch out into some more edited content and either kind of more, not skit type stuff, that's a bad way to put it, but but other type of videos, you know. Because you can't just play Dark Souls forever, can you? Sometimes you gotta like branch out. Anyways, it's time for me to stop rambling, even though this is a rambling show. This has been the first episode of Sketchy Saturdays Relaunched. As always, all my social media is down in the description. Uh, join my Discord, join Instagram. The best way to stay up to con date. The best way to stay up to date on content on this channel is to hit the notification bell. That way you can always stay up to date with my streams. I really encourage everyone to turn on post notifications because I consistently get comments saying that people are not getting notified when I'm streaming. Uh, and that's probably because you need to have like all alerts turned on on my channel and then you get notified of everything. That's about it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, comment. I really encourage you guys to comment um, and kind of give feedback. What topics do you want to see? What games should I stream? You know, this is an open platform. This is the one show on the channel that's democratic. Otherwise, uh, if you are on streams and all that, 
this is a one-man show a dictatorship so this is the one show where it's like an open platform so if you want to shit on me shit on me go ahead i'm only kidding <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here thank you guys very much for watching take care and i'll see all of you next time goodbye